Hello, friends. Now let's solve the all parties from source lead to destination. Let's see a statement. Given the edges of a directed graph and the two nodes source and the destination of this graph, determine whether or not all parties starting from source eventually end at destination. There is at least one path exists from the source node to the destination node. If a path exists from the source node to a node with no outgoing edges, then that node <coughs> is equal to destination. The number of possible paths from source to destination is a, a return to if and only if all roads from source lead to destination. Let's see these examples. The first example is that uh, we have three nodes. Ages is 0 to 1, 0 to 2. The source node is 0. Destination node is 2. We return false because there is a path ended in 1 and it starts from 0. And uh, uh, let's see example 2. We start from source 0, but there is an infinite loop that uh, did not end uh, in node 3, so we return false. Uh, in this example, all the paths from 0 will end uh, in the node destination, so we return true. And for this example, all the paths start from the source node will get into the infinite loop of this one. So we will not end uh, at this destination node, so we return false. And for this example, even all the nodes will uh, like uh, get into the infinite self loop in the destination node. None of them will end here, so we return false. So that problem becomes to first we will check whether there is a uh, circle. If there is circle, we will return false. Um, if uh, the path start from the source uh, source uh, node uh, does not have a circle, we will check that the end node if it equal to the destination node. If there is some path that doesn't end in the destination node, we return false. Otherwise, we return true. So let's see how to detect a circle in directed graph. We will use this classic algorithm from the CLRS, which is the introduction to algorithms. We will first mark all the nodes to the white color. That is, we use zero to represent that. Then when we try to process a node, we will mark it as gray color. We will use one. And for all the colors uh, in the code stack, we mark it as the gray color. And we check uh, the node to its neighbor node. Once we find its neighbor node also equal to the gray color, that means we have find a circle. What does that mean? You see this example. Uh, we start from one, and we uh, keep doing that first search. Then we go to 2, then we go to 3, then we go to 4. But when we are at 4, we find uh, this 2 is already colored as gray. So that is a back edge. That means connecting a vertex U to a uh, extender V in a depth first tree. So we just uh, find a circle. We will return false. If nothing wrong happens, we will mark that color as black. That means we have finish process that node. So for this uh, specific question, we will first uh, build a graph. We change the ages to a uh, agency agent list. Then we will do the depth first search from the source node. If the current node has no neighbor nodes, that means it is an ending node. If the current node equal to the destination node, we return true. If it is not, this case will return false. How about the recursion case? We'll first mark the current node as gray color. Then we check all its neighbor nodes. If the color of the neighbor nodes equal to 1, which means 
it uh, already in the call stack will return false. That means circle found. Uh, if the neighbor node is white and we find a false case, because we will keep doing the depth first search, we return false. If nothing wrong happens, we mark current node to the black color and we return true. So let's now write the code. We will first do edge case check. If edge is dot length equal to zero, we return true. Because if we have no edges, that means there is only one node. Uh, so all the parts from the source will lead to the destination node. We return true. Otherwise, we we'll get uh, we will use agency list to represent this graph. Uh, usually we will use, I will use a hash map, but that will be much slower. So in this case, I will use a list array. List array. So what does this mean? That means um, every node has an index in the array. And for every index, that list means its neighbor nodes. So new list. The size should be n. We also need a colors. The size also be n. We will first build graph. We pass this g and ages. So let's first implement this build graph. Uh, this list uh, integer array g and the ages. Mm, n ages. So for every age in the ages. This is the from node. From node equal to the e0. And the two node will be e1. If g from is null, we will first new. g from hmm, will new linked list. Then g from will add to to its list. Okay, so we have finished this part. Then we will just return the depth first search. So we will parse this graph under the source code, uh, source, source node, and the destination node, and also the colors. Boolean DFS, this integer graph. That will be source, destination, and the colors. So the base case is if it's an end node, which means g s equal to null or g s dot size equal to zero. This is the ending node. We just return if s equal to d. If the current node is equal to the destination node, we return true. Otherwise, we return false. If not uh, the base case, we color that node to 1. And uh, for every next uh, node, its neighbor node, g, s. If that color equal to 1, we already made that. We return false. If colors next uh, equal to 0, we have the process it. And we find a false case. That will be next d colors we return force otherwise we color the current node to the black and we return true mm. okay I have uh, uh, typo just a typo okay thank you for watching see you next time